My autobiographical narrative of my life as a corn plant. I haven't always been this tall. Brothers and sisters have found lots of jobs. During my lifetime, I've grown close to a lot of friends. See, I hope it doesn't sound too corny, but if it's not too much of a tassel, please lend me your ear, because I'd like to talk to you about my life story. By the time you leave here, you'll be a colonel in the corn army. Like many plants, I began as a seed that came from a plant very much like myself. For us corn plants, we have a special name for our seeds. They call us kernels. Smart, hard-working farmers try to plant us about two inches deep into the ground in rows 30 inches apart. And boy, am I thirsty. I soak up water that makes me swell and burst through my outer covering called pericarp and begin to sprout. As I start to grow, my name changes to embryo. Part of me grows down into the soil to form roots that absorb water and minerals to support me as I grow. The rest of me pushes up to the soil to reach the sunlight. After a few weeks, I develop into a single stalk with about 15 long, broad leaves. Sunlight provides me energy necessary for photosynthesis to begin. During this process, I absorb sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide that work with my chlorophyll to produce the sugar that feeds me. It took me about 120 days for me to go from seed to where I am today. What's next? Well, the cool thing is there are so many uses for corn. 0.2% are used for seeds. They pick out the best ones called high yielding hybrids to plant annually. 1.8% is used for food. Even though Americans eat little whole kernel corn, they eat 120 million bushels in processed corn food. 2.5% of us are extracted as starch to thicken foods and is used in numerous industrial products such as biodegradable plastics. 5.3% are used as sweeteners. Corn syrup has replaced imported sugar in a host of products like soda pop and candy. 11% of us are eventually turned into an alcohol called ethanol that powers cars and a variety of other engines. Our most pop popular use though is as animal feed. Eventually, 57% of corn will be used as meals for cattle, hogs, and poultry. But for today, I'm just happy to be a healthy, thriving resident of Central Illinois right here in our own backyard. <laughs>